my friends, welcome back. It is Saturday, February 27th, 2021. I'm the Drumpo Crew, tis your time. Y'all, y'all really like shopping. Just say it. Huh. Remember, my restaurant's located in a mall. Uh, you, you can't get a parking spot at the mall. It's like Christmas out there. I need like several beers to recuperate from today. So, let's do it. Let's be, remember, gonna be positive. Many thanks to my friends at Collective Arts. And you know what I want to say again? When I see my beer friends getting beer from breweries, it makes me happy because those people love beer so much. And to see them getting care packages sent to them makes me happy. So thank you, Collective, for that. That really did uh, brighten up my day. And then I got home and I had a care package. And I was like, yeah. So I got two new glasses. Very cool art from Jun, Jun Kim. Um, and two new beers. Now, Good Monster we've talked about. This is the new core addition to their lineup, the New England Double IPA. Excellent beer. <laughs> going to be fueling a lot of fun for poke on nights. But uh, the new one we're going to talk about, another new addition to the core, is a dry hop blonde ale, 4.8%, I think, 4.8? It looks like 4.8. Matter of fact. Matter of fact. Very cool can art. Um, they, they, they liken it to, like, if somebody who likes New England style IPAs, um, perhaps it's a little more sessionable. A little more crushable. Could be 4.3. I really can't read it. I'm. It's the friggin... You can't put this little printing on things. I'm like 175 years old when it comes to reading stuff. Anyways, this is more of a highballer glass, I guess. But we do have collective gin at home, too. So I could have some collective arts gin, I suppose. But for now, it'll be my beer glass for tonight. You know why? Because it's a buckety-type beer glass. And it holds a can perfectly. Look at that. And it is hazy. So I like that. Uh, Ella and Centennial hops in this. So, again, you're not even going for, like, the sexy hops. This isn't, like, you know, sexy, sexy, sabro or citra or something. It's, it's Ella and Centennial. So they kind of went, you know, a little old school, a little bit of Centennial. I'm oh, getting some grapefruit, some some floral notes. Uh, let's get into it. Uh, cheers. Thank you, Collective, once again. As always, I mean, I've never missed a release in five years, six years now. Um, whatever it is, five and a half. But, uh, you know, a lot of love in my heart from out down here. So cheers. Let's go. I like a good Blondale, and we've talked about this before. I like a Blondale, um, you know, because it, 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 it's it, it's crushable. It's got an amplified drinkability. Um, <laughs> I hate to disturb, but I mean, what you're looking for here is you're looking for a crusher, right? This, right now, is calling to me from the grotto. It's future poke is, like, sitting in the grotto, and I can feel this beer calling to me in the summertime definitely going to be a big one um it is it does have some of that kind of um leaning into new england style but still being a blonde ale there's a touch of citrus in there a little bit of floral notes it does have a bit of bitterness to it but nothing here is big right this is all designed for maximum accessible drinking like this is you want to be having this in the six pack in the cooler beside you this is the beer that they're looking to do and i think they're right i think they've taken a blonde ale and they've given it a little oomph a little sexy. You know, I said, oh, this isn't the sexy hops. But Ellen Centennial is a nice addition. It doesn't distract from the beer itself, but rather adds to it and gives it a little bit of complexity. And I think that that's a nice thing. I said it was a long day. Also, I'm not going to lie, drinking out of this glass really makes me feel like I can take bigger sips. Honestly. Um, but yeah, I really enjoy it. I, I think this does definitely have a place in that core lineup. I mean, it's, again, it's not this, right? It's not a big, hazy, juicy, tropical IPA, but it is a bright, citrusy kind of beer that does have an incredible quaffability. I'm going to throw as many abilities at you as I can, right? But I, I think that I get what they're going with here, and I actually like it. Because I've seen some breweries do, try to do things with, with Blondales. And it just doesn't work. This works. They get hops, man. Oh, man. I shouldn't have ribs for dinner. Uh, but anyways, that's good. So Saturday night, going to go watch the rest of the Leafs. The first period just finished. Let's go, Leafs, go. Let's all have a good time. Relax. Take it easy. If you're off tomorrow, if you got to work, I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm off, but I'm going to be with you. Be nice to each other. Be nice to yourselves. Cheers. Thank you once again, Collective Arts. I'm not finishing the whole thing. I mean, I'm done about two seconds after I finish this, but uh, you guys have a good night. <laughs>